Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the National Opera Center. I'm Laura Lee Everett, the Artistic Services Director. Thank you so much for joining us this evening for our industry open house. This was the house that was built for you. As the National Service Organization, we don't produce, we produce what you produce. And wanted to give you a space dedicated in New York to be able to share with everyone in the country who we're sharing with through live stream this evening. So welcome to everyone out there in the rest of Opera Land. We're gonna start with a couple of performances from the Opera America Songbook. When we were looking at opening the National Opera Center, a huge mission of Opera America all along has been to encourage and produce the creation of new work. And what better way to do that for the opening of the National Opera Center than to commission a series of songs from some of the greatest and most established composers as well as some of the newest and emerging composers in the industry. Uh, for this evening, we, after commissioning, we invited 70 composers that we had given money to over the years for new work, and 47 of them responded. So we have a wonderful three CD set that we have recorded of the Opera America Songbook. It is available for sale in our lobby. Uh, if you would like to get the full box set, you can also get it on iTunes and through our website at this point as uh, MP3s. I encourage both. Um, for this evening, we are premiering two of the pieces from the songbook. Part of our initiative is to perform all of the songs on the songbook through the course of the first year here at the Opera Center. For this next set, we will have Our House, which is by Stuart Wallace, who wrote the music and the text for that. And Leah Edwards is the soprano. David Hokabor is playing the piano. And Our Haven by composer Jean Murray, who is here with us this evening. Thank you for your song. And Dana Purcell Morris set the text. Leah Edwards will also sing that song. And David Hokabor will play the piece for us. Enjoy the songbook.
to David and Leah for that lovely performance of both of those songs and to Jean for being here. For those of you who've already seen the film, this would be an optimal time if you want to go wander around and see the rest of the Opera Center. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the film about the making of the Opera Center, please stay. We're going to bring the screen in and uh, let you watch how this magical place came to be. Opera America was established in 1970 in Washington, D.C., and in 2005, we knew we needed to move to New York to be able to facilitate more of the opera industry because so many of the members came through this city to do what they needed to do to audition to be able to hear singers and communicate with the other companies that they collaborated with in the business. It was just about finding the right place to be home and about building it. Please enjoy this wonderful film. Greg Emeta is the videographer who put it together for us about how this entire building came about and why we are where we are here in Midtown so that you all get to enjoy the facility. The Opera Center is a physical facility that is specifically designed for opera and for the voice, where opera companies can come to do the work they need to do in New York. Auditions, workshops, showcases of new works, meetings with managers and publishers in one space. My reaction is, thank God. I think everyone's been very excited from the beginning, just for what this facility really means for the industry and for everyone's companies. To be able to say, Go to the Opera Center. There you'll find somebody who can give you answers. That's incredible. That, that's, I'm, I'm, over, I'm just overjoyed. It will be just an incredible opportunity to bring the people of opera together. Space is sorely needed in this industry, in this city in terms of performance space, audition space, rehearsal space. We have challenges with all of those. For years and years, we had been doing auditions in church basements. Poor singers were having to vocalize in stairwells and bathrooms. The room they put us in, there was a hole to the hallway to the outside, and there was a studio next door that had some sort of jazzercise class going on. You know, but you're so happy to be singing. You're so happy to be given the chance to audition, you're so happy to say, I'm starting. And that's the wonderful thing about our, our young people. They're out there ready to go. And what you throw them, they grab and run with it. Now, the fact that we're throwing them something wonderful just makes you know that they should do their best. They can do their best. They can be in a situation where they can feel their best. Actually having this purpose-built audition space is gonna be a real treasure. Deciding on the location for the Opera Center was a kind of accident. We had been looking all over New York, and I came back to the office one day really frustrated, just kicking my wastebasket around the office saying, heck, why don't we just take two floors in this building and blow the ceiling out? The shape of the recital hall is a response to the volume that we created by removing the slab. Is there acoustical issues? So the entire enclosure of the room, floor, walls, and ceiling, is floated to create acoustical isolation. And then I feel that there are kind of emotional comfort issues about being nestled within a volume. I think it's beautiful. I think the color and also the shape of the room is going to make it feel very inviting for the auditioners and the auditionees as well. Also having the technical possibilities of being able to transmit that audition to a stage director who might be in Vienna or Paris or London. I'm delighted that we're actually filming this interview right downstairs in the Opera Center main lobby. And this will be the space where visitors enter, getting off the elevators here at 337th Avenue. We have a postcard view of the Empire State Building, so that if anyone gets confused about what city they're in, they see it right there. And this will be a very light place where you kind of sense the day moving. And this is in contrast to so many of the performance spaces, which are deliberately without windows for the sake of acoustical isolation. This is an audition room. You can see how the walls are built up out of 
many layers that keeps sound from moving through. And then the floor system is a floating raft system, keep vibrations that might be within the structure or even coming up from the subway from extending up into the room. They have put in really huge conduits so that the airflow is slower and there's less noise generated by the flow of air. You can air condition an airport with these. We have a number of different libraries here at the Opera Center. A complete score and listening library. We'll also have a research and reference library. So that you can study languages, so that you can study the history of the opera, because you need to know what's going on around you politically, socially, in order to find out who and what your character is about. We tend to lead a slightly nomadic existence in the world of opera. The idea of having a space that's meant for us is going to be people from all over the country feeling like they have a home in the city. It's going to feel like there's this kind of sheltering, protected quality. And I think that is a quality that we all need in our work. And what my hopes for this place is that it just buzzes with everything that's possible in the development of opera. It will give us the opportunity to have interaction with other companies that will strengthen the entire field. I want to be a part of this thing that says, let's do this together. Let's do it the best we can for the profession. And this house will do it. And those were samples of some other songbook songs you heard in the video. Please enjoy seeing the rest of the Opera Center. We will have another performance of songbook songs in about five minutes, followed by the video, so you can come back and hear some more music. And uh, if you missed the beginning of the film, you can see that again, too. Thank you all for being here. Enjoy the Opera Center. <laughs>